Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's rate and rank these hot sauces as lip gloss? Yes, but first, congratulations, Sarah. You in a mythical shirt, because of your win face. Yeah, dink it and sink it. We're gonna add to your collection with another prize. Coming your way, girl. Um, <laughs> Coming your way, girl. So we have an array of hot sauces before us. We also have some more of these wings. I don't know, which one are you craving at this point? I'm craving the uh, the dry rub from Buffalo Wild Wings. I actually, the boneless, so that's, that's from the, the boneless from the loser. Boneless from Buffalo Wild Wings. So we're both craving Buffalo Wild Wings even though Wingstop kept the crown. That's that's interesting. Well, it's about this is about the overall approach. And I just don't I do I do Wingstop a lot more often. And uh now, I don't know, I just feel Can I ask you about something that I didn't want to add to the to the main because I just felt it was too much. But if if we had to choose between the carrot celery situation at each place, visually, I have a preference, and I don't know if you share this preference. Um, I didn't even look. So the, I, I, I prefer the Wingstop carrots because they're long slices, uh, whereas the, um, there you go. Oh yeah. Whereas the- Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings, wings are cut. They're like the, the ones that you yeah. have in your fridge at home. Yeah, I specifically prefer the Wingstop style. No, oh, you don't like the little cut ones. No, no, I like the one. Yeah, I like the ones that 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 Link is holding. This is like a sh a sauce shovel. You know, you shovel up that ranch, but it invites a lot of double dipping. I just think that they're very important important to the wing uh, meal situation because you need to you you got to get a little veggie and ranch or blue cheese dippage in between things. So, so you're gonna try each of these as lip gloss. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna have a cold sore outbreak. Like, harpies need to stay in hiding. Um, Josh, I know you got lots of opinions about hot sauces. Oh, yeah. And there's a reason that you gave us Crystal, which is a very, very popular hot sauce. And and I love this on, I mean, fried chicken, not, not that it has anything else already on it. You put the hot sauce on some really good fried chicken, it's only gonna make it better. Oh yeah, per perfect balance of just acid, spice, and uh, that little bit of salt. Crystal's a classic, it's always in my fridge, and I use it as a meat mallet. The, the bottle. But yeah, it's the perfect shape to, to beat out meat. Now, um, <laughs> I love this sauce. Don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. I love it. It's good. And again, I, I like this, Louisiana style hot sauce is the best all around hot sauce in my opinion, and I put, really? it, I put it on eggs, it's the most versatile. It goes on about everything. Cause top of you can tia. even put this on like, you can put it on like a taco if you want. It's, you know, I mean, some people would be like, don't do that. But have you had Sweet Baby Ray's version of this? I actually never have. I see it at the store all the time, and somehow I've never pulled the trigger on I've it. I've never tasted them side by side. But I was a Texas Pete man for a long time, being from North Carolina. But the Texas Pete actually is not as good as this, no. and it's not as good as, it's not even as good as Frank's, but I don't like Frank's compared to this. Yeah, I don't know, Frank's seems like too mainstream. You know, but I, Tabasco is like the OG Louisiana style hot sauce that all the other ones kind of came after. So I have like a lot of respect for Tabasco and especially on eggs and hash browns. Tabasco? Yeah, I have like this this nostalgic memory of going to Denny's and IHOP and putting Tabasco on my eggs and hash I'm browns. I'm a Tabasco fan, but it's, it's, it's all its own. It feels very different than every other sauce. Now Cholula is something that I was lovingly introduced to once moving to California. This is in so many different restaurants that you go in. I'm a big fan, but yeah. I did not like it on my chicken wing. And the I'm cap, the Tabasco it has a wing. wooden cap, yeah. which is fun. You can't, you cannot underestimate the importance of this wooden cap. You, oh, it's so, I mean, th think about the love and the care that goes into making the decision to put wood on your bottle. Tabasco tastes like it's got alcohol in it. There's like an alcohol content. I have yet to hit this with it. There we go. Is there alcohol in this? Oh, uh, you know what? I've been bringing liquor to work in Tabasco bottles to hide it, and you've got one of those. Uh, it's just, I mean, the vinegar content is so high. The specific peppers that they use. I like the green. I like the green version of this on mm. burritos. Yeah. But I, I'm not a fan of this. I don't like it on anything. I think it's the, is it the Arbol peppers? Tapatio is grainy. Like the cayenne peppers that you put in this. 
You didn't put them in there. <laughs> that they do makes it this distinctly like Tex Mex kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Whereas this really moves into Mex. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It kind of takes the Texas out of it. And um, I, again, I love it. But I, it doesn't, it's not as versatile in my mind. Mm. It's great as a lip gloss. I mean, that is what I'm testing here. So far, those were pretty similar and because I'm just going with consistency because I want to be able to have full lip coverage. Yeah, I will use all of these sauces in different scenarios and contexts. Now, what about Tapatio? Because this is Tapatio, This is I, the most famous sauce at a tip, any, any like, so many different just Cal, mm -hmm. California restaurants that you go into, they're gonna have this more often than anything. Yeah, I believe Tapatio is actually a slang term for someone from the state of Jalisco in Mexico. So it's actually like a long kind of lineage of Tapatio uh, and they serve it at a lot of Mexican seafood restaurants, and I am a huge fan of it. Uh, it's got like a more kind of dusky chili heat to it, a little yeah, bit does. more bit bitterness, uh, a lot more concentrated chili flavor. I might like it better than Cholula having them back to back. As lip gloss, how is it working? You're applying lip gloss to the inside of your lip right now. Yeah, because I'm tasting it. Because <laughs> CV, you know what? It's not lip gloss. It's hot sauce. Um, hey, just a reminder. Download the Mythical Society app. It's free, and you can peruse uh, all the stuff we offer on the Mythical Society by signing up for the Initiate tier, which is also free. So yeah, you gotta you gotta do a couple of things: download the app, uh, sign up as an initiate. But it'll give you an idea of what we're what we're doing behind the scenes and the level of access and content that we provide. If you're already a member of the Mythical Society, you have it downloaded the app. Well, you're missing out. Available on Apple and iOS. That's the same thing. Android, Google Play App Store. I do feel like <clears throat> your idea about Tabasco on eggs. Not too much though, right? I mean, you drown it. It gets pretty wet. I, I whoa! I just yeah. It's, it's so specific. It's it's just too, it's so watery and just. It's like, it's like the, it's like the vodka version of hot pe hot pepper sauce. Um, it is not a great lip gloss. Uh, it is very thin, very yeah. very thin. Didn't get a lot of coverage. Sriracha. I have to be in a, t a certain mood to, to like Tabasco. <sighs> I, I I'm getting tired just eating. I, I always opt for something else besides sriracha. It's not that I hate it. It's just that. I always prefer any of these, even Tabasco over. You know the funny Sriracha. thing. The funny thing is, and this is just indicative of my personality, is that I have liked each one of these sauces at different times. Like when I first found out about this, I loved it, and I had it in my house for years. Yeah. Then I got, and the same thing with Sriracha. Before that, I would put this on pizza, eggs, my finger, my finger. My lips are burning now. I haven't tried this yet. Well, I like the way this does as this a This hipster gloss. truffled hot sauce, but this Louisiana stuff, th this is the best for on fried chicken. Sriracha is the best lip gloss. What do you think is what do you think is the best hot sauce on fried You're chicken? You're also like not looking at yourself or anything. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not looking to see how it looks. Yeah, I'm just feeling it. I'm just feeling it. my lip is on fire right now. By the way, mm. you better be glad you didn't have to figure this out. Now, hold on. Did you try this? No, I went back to best. I went back to best. The best on fried chicken. Hold on, but this is the this is the curveball because the, everybody's had these. Everybody who's anybody's had these. This is the thing you see like Instagram commercials for. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? Oh yeah, I, I saw like a whole ad about this and people were like, what? It's got a freaking black nugget on top of it. Look at Ooh. that, what is that, a diamond cut onyx? It's black. <laughs> That's it's exactly freaking, what that is. It's a freaking diamond cut onyx on the top hey. of every bottle of, uh, what is that called, snuff? Snuff, truff, is it better truff? than wood? It's better than wood. It's not better than wood, don't say it's, it. It's onyx. Okay, this sauce, my, mouth, my bottom lip, especially where I've been just putting hot sauce with up. Applicator. It's really, I need to dip it in something. Let me try this while you're while you're over there hurting. So what's in this, Josh? Black we've, truffle. We've had it before and we've liked it. Yeah, so it's black truffle and I think there's agave in it too because it's got some sweetness in it. 
I didn't know what to think about it the first time I had it until I put it on a breakfast burrito, and then it really floored me. Oh yeah, you fell on the ground? I've, yeah. I've fallen and I can't get up, and I need Life Alert. Not a sponsor. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I know I've had it before, but again for the first time, you get hit with this sweetness. Oh, that's a good sauce. Give us like 10 years and we can have Life Alert as a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years, huh? <laughs> um, Man. It's not that hot. Those black truffles, man. Woo! Got some stank. Those pigs that found those things. Got some didn't, stanky stank. Didn't pigs find them? I think they use dogs more often than pigs. But this is a dog truffle? truffle this a is a dog truffle. truffle. It's a dog truffle sauce. Can you even call it a hot sauce? I mean, it's got the color, but it's almost barbecue-y. It gets a little hot. Mm. That's a good sauce. I don't know if it's my favorite sauce. I don't know what to put this on. You're saying breakfast burritos? Mm-hmm. I, I, I can see that, but fried chicken, there's no. If you have not had Louisiana Pure Cristal hot sauce on your fried chicken, I don't care where you get it. Throw it on there. Well, and let me tell you, if you go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, Oops, on the or if you do your own chicken and waffles thing, take a waffle, put butter and syrup on top of it. Take a chicken breast, fried, put it on top of that. Put hot sauce like this all over that chicken and then put another waffle on top of it. More butter, more syrup. Eat that. <clears throat> Call me, thank me, later. Are you a member of the Mythical Society? Want an even easier way to dig into content like Behind the Mythicality and Retin Link React? Well, download the new free mobile app now in the Apple and Google Play stores.